All right then, my friends. So we've addressed the top section over here. The next thing we want to turn our attention to are the projects and also the things I can do. So if we head over to the index file, we can see the next section. This bit is called portfolio. So I'm going to grab that ID and style that first of all. So underneath the last selector there, I'm going to say portfolio. But before I do that, I need a hash because it's an ID. And then inside this rule, what I'd like to do first of all is give it a background image. Now, that background image is going to be a URL and it's going to be this image inside the assets and it should be background something or other, if I can find it, square underscore bg dot png. So let me now say we want to go into the assets folder and then we want the square underscore bg dot png file. Now for the background size, I'm going to say cover and then I'm going to say background repeat is no repeat because I don't want this to repeat over and over and the background position is going to be bottom so it starts at the bottom and then the padding is going to be 30 pixels at the top and bottom and then 20 pixels to the left and right so that section in general not the background that section in general is going to have this padding okay so if I save this now we should see that it's a different color that's the color of the image and we see this kind of grid thing in the background I thought it looked quite spacey so that's the first thing done the next thing I want to do is this h3 at the top now that is not inside the grid remember that sits outside the grid the grid is this div the class of projects so let's do this h3 first of all so portfolio h3 and then inside, all I'm going to do is say margin bottom is going to be zero. And then after that, also text hyphen align. And we'll put the text in the center. Save it. And OK, that's looking a bit better. Now we want to do these projects right here. And they sit inside a grid. So we have three projects. And each one is an anchor tag. And they're all grid items. So we need to grab those first of all. So I'm going to say dot projects and then a and on mobiles, I want these all to stack on top of each other. So I want each project to be the full width of the grid. And that is eight columns. So from column line one all the way to column line nine. So let me say grid hyphen column and it's going to be from one to nine. OK, and then also I'm going to give each one a margin of 20 pixels, top and bottom, zero left and right. Okay, so if we look at that now, we can see each one of these now sits on top of each other and each item takes up the full eight columns in the grid, right, on a different row each time. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is address the image size, first of all, and also centralize everything. So what I'm gonna do is come down here and say projects anchor tag, and then I'm going to do an asterisk. And that means grab every single element inside those anchor tags. So in our case, it's going to be the image and the H4. Now, I want to style them both at the same time, which is why I used the asterisk. And the first thing I'm going to do is apply a margin to both of these things. And it's going to be zero top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right, then a max width of 40%. And that means that basically the image right here is at most going to be 40% of the width of the actual columns. So if I save this now, we can see they are much smaller like this. The last thing I want to do is say text hyphen align, or in fact, we don't want text align, we want align self. And that basically takes the current things that we're selecting, so the H4 and the image, and it's going to align itself into the center like so. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is actually move the text up to the side over here. And to do that, we could just say that this is going to be flex, display flex, each one of these anchor tags, because when that happens, the elements automatically sit next to each other. So I'm going to say display is going to be flex like so. And now we can see they go up to the right. Dead simple. All right. So that is looking pretty good for that section. Now, I want to do one more thing, and that is just to color this H4. So let me come down here and say projects H4, and then the color, I'm going to paste this in, is going to be this color. I'm going to save it, 
and it's more of a purple color now. So it kind of makes it a little different from this H3 at the top, okay? All right, cool. So next I wanna go down and I wanna do this skills section. So remember down here, this has an ID of skills. So let me grab that first of all and come down here and we'll say skills. And first of all, I wanna give this some padding. So I'm gonna say 30 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right. And then I also wanna give this a different background color. So it kind of matches the bottom bit over here. So let me say the background is gonna be, and let me just copy this hex code from my GitHub repo. So scoot that over there, okay? And if I save that now, it's gonna kind of blend in a little bit more. And in fact, it's not doing because I haven't spelt background correctly. Save it, now it kind of blends in a bit more, awesome. All right, so now I wanna style this H3 as well. So skills, H3, and I'm gonna say text, hyphen align is gonna to be to the center. Save that and we need to make sure that spells skills, not kills, okay? And that's now in the center. Now, next we need to address these things right here. Remember that is a UL and it has a class of grid. Now, first of all, let me just target the UL and give this some margin. So I'm gonna say again, skills and then UL and give this a margin and that margin will be 40 pixels top and bottom, zero, left and right, just to give it some breathing room. Now, we wanna style each one of these LI tags, right? Because they're all sitting on the grid, they're all grid items, and we have four of them in total. So what I'm gonna say now is skills, LI, and for each one, I'm gonna apply a little bit of padding, so 10 pixels all the way around, and then I'm also gonna give this a background as well. And this background is gonna be RG, BA, so we can have an alpha channel, 0, 0, 0 for black, and then 0 0.2 to make it quite transparent. So if I save that now, it should just look a little bit darker each one. Okay, now I also need to use the grid hyphen column property on each one. Now, instead of me saying each one is gonna go from like one to four, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want them all to go from one to four or anything like that. What I need to do is say that each one is just gonna take up four columns in width. And that means that each row is gonna have two because we have eight columns in the whole grid. Now, the way we do that is by saying span four, and it's automatically gonna populate the different items in the grid into those columns, and each item is gonna take up four columns in width. So we should have two on the top and two on the bottom. Now, if I save that, we can see we have two on the top and we also have two on the bottom. Now, I'm also gonna say text hyphen align is gonna be to the center like so. And that is looking okay. Now, I've noticed that we don't have any gap between the elements in the grid. So let me scroll back up to where we defined the grid initially. And I'm also gonna apply a gap property to that of 10 pixels. So if I save it now, it looks a bit nicer now. So we have that little gap in between each element. So let me scroll all the way down. So now we've done these LI tags. What I'd like to do is just apply a little bit of styling to these images just to make them a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna say skills and then image and each one is gonna have a height of 80 pixels and the margin is gonna be 10 pixels top and bottom, auto, left and right. So that is looking a bit better. Awesome, so this is starting to take shape now. So from the top, we have our welcome section, we have our projects and also our skills down there. And all that remains for the mobile is the contact form and the footer at the bottom. And we'll do that in the next video.